My name is Sean Thornson, and I am the illustrator and designer behind the new Marauders logo. According to what my parents tell me, when I was probably three or four years old, um, I had taken a red crayon and drew a, a life-size mural on the wall in the basement uh, of a train. And uh, <laughs> as they tell me, they said they were, they were kind of torn between being upset and, and being proud because they, they could rec recognize even at that age that I had an ability that most people probably didn't have. I feel it's really important for all designers, um, regardless of their ability to illustrate well or not, to start an idea on paper. That's where, to me, that's where the idea comes to life. There was a lot of iterations that happened on paper before I even touched the computer. And I, I truly believe that's where, that's the difference with good design. I mean, you have to have those ideas up here and you need to get them down on paper before you use the technology to make it happen. It was, I think, very pivotal to see the sculpture and to see that bronze work of art in the, in the crow's nest and um, because it painted, it painted the Marauder in a different light. Certainly that bronze sculpture kind of embodies that new missional, redemptive Marauder. Uh, so you could probably fill in the blank with your own story arc or storyline, but I kind of looked at that sculpture and thought, you know, maybe, maybe this is a moment where the Marauder is a little regretful of his past and he's having this moment of clarity and it's gonna it's gonna set him on a new path, a new you know a new future. And uh, I thought, wow, that's that's pretty powerful when you look at it in that light. The new Marauder kind of embodies this more serious, more confident uh, looking toward the future. Um, very missional, very intentional. Um, I envision our Marauder on the on the bridge of his ship looking off into the horizon. He's got a, he's got a goal in mind. Um, that's that's kind of, that's what I would want people to see in this new Marauder. Yeah, and the development of that secondary logo, um, just working with straight type is sometimes a challenge. We didn't have the Marauder head in that at all. We wanted to work with straight type. So it really forced us to focus on the typeface that was being developed. And uh, the typeface Originally, I had, I had played with a number of collegiate-looking typefaces, and we tried modifying some, and finally we just got to a point where I had taken uh, the base typeface from a few different of the collegiate ones and then modifying it to a point where it's an original. So the University of Mary typeface that we're using, it doesn't exist <laughs> because we created it. So um, that secondary logo really, I think, was a turning point in developing a typeface look for the Marauders because we had to because with that particular design that's all we had to focus on was the type and how it interacted and, and uh, interplayed with one another. I'm, I'm kind of uh, petrified right now because it's, it's, it's really it's an honor to be part of this project and it's really humbling to be a part of this project and, and yeah, I'm proud of the, the end result, uh, but I'm more anxious because I'm, I'm hoping that everyone really likes it. I, I hope that everyone feels like we've done, you know, the Marauder name proud with this new look. And uh, yeah, it's, it is kind of like, that's my baby. And you want that acceptance. You want that, yeah, everyone loves it. And, and uh, I, I, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't a little bit nervous, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be cool. I'm always thankful when I get to use what I feel is is my talent, my gift, and uh, illustration is that for me. And, and projects like this make me feel like I'm using what I was given. Uh, being able to give back in this way is, is a big deal. I, I enjoy that. How do you say? Hooks up?